Dude, where were you? We were waiting. We had coffee. There was free cake. You missed it. I'm just, I'm done with laces. You know what? I think actually I've been done with laces for, for a while now. I thought that my tendency towards towards cowboy boots, towards pecos and towards ropers were a stylistic choice. It turns out it was actually just my, my subconscious telling me that bending down wasn't really for me anymore. But as much as I really do love my, my cowboy boots, my pecos and my ropers, they don't really work too well with, with sort of slim tapered jeans. The solution's simple. Chelsea boots. Now, I do have a couple of pairs of Chelsea boots, which, well, I'm not gonna put on the table. The trickers, let's face it, they're not exactly everyday boots. And the Vibergs, well, I did buy these with the intention of them being just kicking about boots, but honestly, they're just, they're, they're far too nice for that. I mean, I, I don't want to get bike oil on them. I don't want to get just the general Berlin city detritus. So yeah, these are also not really everyday boots. So the idea is to find myself a rugged, reasonably good looking, reasonable quality, not too expensive, good for kicking around town, pair of Chelsea boots. And that's really not been as easy as I thought. Like, not at all. For a second, I was a little bit tempted by these, but then I remembered I'm a 40 year old, and if I fall off those, I'll probably break a hip. And even if I don't fall off them, I will break any respect that anybody had left for me after the whole yellow boot fiasco. And they just look completely like wellies when they're on. So then what about RM Williams? Yes, absolutely. I would love, love, love a pair of RM Williams. Thing is, they're just too expensive. And it's the same way with the trickers. I mean, yeah, I could get myself another pair of Henry's, something that's a little bit less dandy, but yeah, they're just, they're outside of my price range. Cause I have set myself a limit here. I've set myself a limit of 300 euros. For that price, I should be able to get myself a pretty decent pair of boots. Pretty good quality, pretty decent looking, reasonably baby puke proof, I, I hope. And if I can get them for even less than that, then just so much the better. So after a bit more poking around, or a lot more poking around, I've narrowed it down to three options. These three options. That is a pair of Red Wings, a pair of Birkenstocks, and a pair of Blundstones. So let's have a look, starting with the complete unknown, which is the Blundstones. I mean, I have been aware, of course, um, if you're a human with eyes living in any built up city, I don't think you could be unaware of Blundstone. These have become kind of like a, these have become trendy. They're, they're almost like a, a fashion boot, which I, don't really understand because, eh. yeah, there, there must be something about it that I'm missing. So yeah, let's, let's, let's really, let's get into it. Okay, that's already quite a nice touch. There's a pair of insoles in here and that allows a little bit of adjustment. Perhaps your foot length is the same, but a little bit less high. Anyway, it's, it's a nice touch. Uh, and there's the other one. Okay, right, first impressions. The leather does look very nice, and it's, it's, it's very, very soft, very, very supple, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it does feel a little bit, a little bit flimsy. Then the elastic, that is good. That, that seems it's nice and thick, it's nice and stretchy. Yeah, that, that does look pretty good. Inside, they are lined with with leather, at least down the down the shaft, and a little bit, a little bit down the front, and then, yeah, halfway inside the boot, they they're lined with with this sort of fuzzy felt material. I, I know this because of the the video that Rose Anvil did in them, where he chopped them in half. Yeah, looking at that, that fuzzy felt material. 
certainly in the video that, that he did, it didn't look like it was going to last. It looked like it was going to wear through. And I, I kind of say that, that I agree with him in that. And then smooth transition into things that won't last the sole. I mean, I, okay, fair enough, no sole on any boots are going to last forever. But the problem with these is that they are not resolable. And for that reason alone, yeah, these, these are out. Um, any boots that I want to buy, I want them to be either Goodyear welted or have some way that I can put a, a new sole in them. I think this has been yeah, molded to, to the leather upper, which means that once this is through, I don't know how long that's going to take. I mean, yeah, the, the sole does look like good, sturdy, good quality. And I know a lot of people like swear by the longevity, but still, once this is through, then that's it. The boots are just for the bin. But maybe since I actually have them here, I, I should try them on. Okay, you know what? I actually, I kind of understand now. I mean, they're not beautiful or refined in any way, shape or form, but I think that's, that's kind of the whole point. And yeah, honestly, if you're, if you're graduating to, to your first pair of decent boots from a pair of sneakers, this would be a very, very good choice. I mean, these would just be perfect for, for exactly what I wanted them for, for, for just kicking around town. But yeah, the fact that they can't be resold, then yeah, they're out. And actually, 200 euros for these, that is a little bit steep, especially when you consider that for 20 euros less, there we go, for 20 euros less, you can get a pair of these. These are, these are the Birkenstock, let me get this right, Stalins. I, I want to say that they're, that they're Birkenstock Stallones. I'm, just, I'm going to roll with that. Now, I do really love me a pair of Birkenstocks, much to the horror of my, my family and friends. And you can, you can instantly see that these are a pair of Birkenstocks. I mean, just, it's got the exact same, that way, that way around. It's got that exact same very distinctive shape to the shoe or boot or sandal. Whatever. Yeah, my family and friends just haven't caught up to how fucking fly these, these really are. And they've got really, really good art sport, which is just as important. And to the, to the leather with these, let's just get all this stuff out first. A lot of paper. Uh, yeah, the leather is actually much, much more sturdy than, than I was expecting. I was, it's a new book, leather. And I was expecting the leather to kind of be on a par with, with the Blundstones. But this seems much, much more hefty, much, much thicker, certainly much more solid. I, I still don't think you're going to have any problem breaking these in. It's not really, it's not really that tough. But still, it does feel, feels a little bit better quality than the, than the Blundstones. Uh, then what did I do after that? Yeah, the elastic. Elastic is... Also, really, really good. Much of a muchness with the Blundstones, maybe slightly thicker, but just as springy. On the inside, they're lined with leather up at the, the back here. And then on the inside, it does seem like they're, I can't tell exactly, but it does seem like they're lined with leather all the way to, to the front. And also on the inside, which I can't show you because I'm not going to do a rose anvil and chop these in half, but on the inside, they've got that, that profile that, uh, that Birkenstocks are really famous for, which that really, really works for my feet. I think I've got a very, very average foot with a very average arch, and I really appreciate the arch support and just the, that ergonomic shape that the, the insoles on, on Birkenstocks have. Actually, is that removable? That might, okay. Apparently I can show you. Yeah, this. This, I really appreciate this, which is cork with a leather bit on top. So that I'm very, very happy to see. Uh, can I get it back in though? Yes, I can. Uh, right, with the, with the Blundstones, I, I'm pretty sure with, where are they? With this very, very supple leather, with the very, very bouncy, very springy, and also addition of other insoles, 
I'm sure as soon as you put these on, these are gonna be comfortable right away, right to the moment that you can't wear it anymore because you can't resole them. These, I think, are gonna take a little bit more of, of breaking in, not the leather, but the sole. The sole, sole is this um, cork composite stuff. And as I said, it's got a profile to it, so that does take a little bit of time with your body weight, with, the, with your body temperature, to really bed into to the shape of your foot. When it does though, you've got an incredibly comfortable, incredibly supportive pair of shoes. Incredibly supportive pair of shoes? They're gonna hold you when you're crying at night. Onto the outside, yeah, these are, they're Goodyear welted, which means that these are resolvable, so that is, is fantastic to see. Uh, there is a small layer of cork that runs all the way around. I'm not really sure what that's for. It doesn't seem thick enough to do very much, but maybe that's just a nod to the, to the original Birkenstocks. And then the sole itself is, it looks and feels very good, very, very sturdy. It's got quite a lot of profile on it, which is, is really, really important. That's, I, I really want some profile. I, I think I mentioned it in the, in the video when I was, when I was up north. I, I was wearing a pair of Viberg ropers because they were the warmest boots that I had. Uh, one second. Yeah, I was wearing these, but I mean, if you look on the bottom, that's not gonna be very much good for, for snow and ice, and it wasn't any good for snow and ice. So yeah, I, uh, another reason to get a new pair of boots is because I want something with a bit of profile. I will probably instantly regret this good profile the first time that I step in dog shit, which seems to happen uh, all too often here in Berlin. Seriously, people, if you've got a dog, dog owners, pick up after your dog, please. Actually, what is the sole of the Blundstones like? I was spending far too much time hating on them and didn't actually look at the sole. Yeah, the, the sole on the Blundstones is also, it looks very, very good. It looks like it's gonna be plenty of grip and it looks like it's gonna be very unfriendly to, to getting dog shit out of it. Yep, these are pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Uh, I can definitely feel the, that uh, ergonomic footbed pushing up against my foot, but with a little bit of time aware, that's gonna bed in. The, the leather, the leather and the uppers, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any break-in period for, for that part. Uh, it, it's just, as much as it's a bit thicker than the Blundstones, it still is very, very soft and supple, so I don't think anybody's gonna have a problem with that. One final distinction that I want to make between the, the Birkenstocks and between the Blundstones is that these are, are made in Europe, made in Portugal, I believe. And I, I believe that these are made in, in China, or somewhere in Asia at least. Now, I, I'm not shitting on made in China, I'm not shitting on made in anywhere basically, we really, we've got to get out of this notion that made somewhere over in Asia automatically means, means bad quality and means slave labor. That's it's not the case at all. However, I, I would guess, and I've got really nothing to base this on, but I guess that, that with these being made over in Asia and with the, the volume that Blundstone must be, must be demanding, I'm guessing the unit price for these is gonna be a lot less than, than for these. So the, the price difference being that these are more expensive, I, I'm really getting the feeling that this is a, a fashion with a capital F boot in that I'm paying a little bit for the name here. And actually on that note, on the note of price, then we come to the most, okay, I've got to tidy up a little bit, which is, which boot does that sticker belong to? That one, I guess. That can go over there. That can also go over there. We've got the most expensive boot in the lineup here. Uh, yeah, like I said, the, the Bluntstones were 200, the Birkenstocks were 180, and these here, Red Wings, these are 299.99 euros. So that is, I don't think that's a, a crazy amount of money to pay for a pair of boots, definitely not. But it is like half a gain on top of the other two. So 
yeah, this this is definitely this is the the higher end of my price bracket right now. But this is just a much, much better boot. Perhaps even the comparison is not really fair considering that price difference. But still, I think for the extra money, you are getting so much more boot for your buck. For one thing, the leather. The leather is a full grain leather. I think the other two, it's some sort of split hide. This does look like a suede, but when it comes to suede leather, and I think the other two as well, the the hides kind of been been split in 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 half lengthways so it does result in a in a much much softer much more supple leather but it also means that it's not going to be quite as as hard wearing it's not going to be quite as durable this here it does look like a, a suede leather for sure but it's actually a rough out leather rough out leather is oh you know, on a, on a full grain leather pair of boots, you've got a rough side, which is usually on the inside. You've got the smooth side, that's usually on the outside. This is just flipped around. Apparently, I, I've heard it said that the rough out leather is much more durable. I can't really speak to that. But yeah, I, I really, I like the look of this leather. And it's been around for a long time in the Red Wing lineup. And it just patinas up absolutely beautifully. But if this rough out isn't your thing, this also comes in a brown version and a sort of dusty black version. Uh, it also looks absolutely beautiful. Um, the the Birkenstock, whatever they are, uh, yeah, the Birkenstocks come in a brown and a grey, I think, and the. Uh, Blundstones uh, come in, from what I can tell, any colour you can imagine and any colour that they can imagine and a lot of colours that they shouldn't have imagined. But anyway, back, back, back to these. I, so that's the leather, uh, the elastic. Now, the elastic in all of them, the stretchiness is about the same, but this does feel a lot more heavy duty. And then looking to the insides, yeah, it's... Certainly at the back and then a little bit down the front again, it's uh, lined with leather. And then towards the, the front of the boot, you've got this. Now, okay, so this comes from, from the Red Wing Heritage line. All the, all the boots that us denim heads know and love, they all come from the, the Red Wing Heritage line. So the 877, the 875, Iron Ranger, the Blacksmith, etc, etc, etc. What most um, guys that are into Red Wings or into jeans or whatever, at least over here in Europe, what most of us don't seem to realize is that Red Wings an absolutely enormous com company. They've got boots and shoes for, for workwear, for hunting, for sports, I think also just a whole, a whole host of, of activities. The, the Heritage Line is actually a very, very small part of the, of the company as a whole. A lot of the other boots for these sporting activities, they are, are quite techy. And a little bit of the, that techiness has, has found its way into the, the heritage line. Starting with the, the material that's, that's covering the, the toe box. I think that that's caught, and I have to shout out Nick from Stridewise for this because he was talking to the Red Wing guys. I think it's called Space Mesh and it's, some kind of nylon polyester mix that just gives a little bit of space between the outer leather and, and your foot and just allows the air to circulate a little bit better. If I know Red Wing, and I, I do, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an extremely durable material. It, it's not going to, going to tear up, tear through, and you're not going to have problems with it. It's just going to add a little bit more comfort. Along with, with this space mesh, which does sound very futuristic, along with that space mesh, they've also rolled out this, this tech to, to the insole. Traditionally, you'd have a, a, a natural veg tanned leather insole that, that sat on, on a bed of cork. And that, that veg tanned leather and that cork, with time and with wear, that would sort of mold to your, to your foot. And so that's why I always say, like, if you're getting a pair of Red Wings, don't buy them secondhand because they're molded to somebody else's foot. With this one, that, that cork um, foot bed, that cork layer, I think it's the midsole, is still there. 
but they've got uh, I, I think it's I think it's three materials, which I have to check on. One second. Yeah, it's a material called Texon, which is three layers. So first layer is a material called Texon, which is some sort of recycled wood material. Then there is an open cell foam on top of that. Then on top of that, there is a chrome tanned leather, which isn't quite as thick as, as the, the old style of doing this, the traditional style of doing this, but it's still gonna be extremely, extremely durable. And yeah, this does all sit on that, that cork midsole. So yeah, same thing again with time and wear. It's gonna, it's gonna mold to your foot, just creating a very, very comfortable boot just, just for you. But with uh, this space age technology, you've just got like that little bit of added comfort that's gonna make all the difference when you're, when you're breaking in these boots. So that's the, that's the top, that's the innards over to the sole. They are Goodyear welted, so resolable, absolutely essential. And the sole itself is the Red Wing crepe sole. Uh, you're gonna find this kind of sole on most of their, I think, yeah, most of their mock toes and a, and a few others as well. It, this is a fantastic sole. I've, I've had a pair of 877s for, for over, over a decade. I think almost a decade actually. The sole is very, very comfortable very insulating, which is really, really important in the winter time, and actually a lot grippier than it looks. But one of the real plus sides of this sole design, these were actually designed for farmers, so the, the mud really wouldn't stick and he wouldn't traipse it through Mrs. Farmer's kitchen, which also makes them very, very good if you do, at some point, step in, in Berlin dog shit. So yeah, it's just, we're all about city practicality here. I mean, it's still gonna be absolutely disgusting, but it's gonna be a lot easier than if you've got big old fat lugs on them. Okay, so that is the the Red Wings, and that uh, brings us to the all of the three boots. So they can go over there, they can go there, and they can go there, or swap that around. Right, the Blundstones. Okay, I, I now really do understand why these have become so popular. They, they are comfortable, they're reasonably good looking, and yeah, if you're coming from trainers, then this is a very, very good boot. But the re non-resolable part, no, no, no. And also for the price, then I really believe you'd be much, much better served with, with these. These were really a surprise to me. I'm surprised how, how good the leather is. I'm surprised how, how amazing the construction is, how good the sole is. The only thing is that they are quite particular looking. You, you've got to really, you've got to decide for yourself if this is gonna be something for you. I mean, for myself, personally, I, I really like it. I always felt that the Blundstones looked a little bit clumsy. And the Birkenstocks, they, they are even more so. Like it's, it's exaggerated. But it's exaggerated to, to such a point that it really, it looks like it's on purpose. And yeah, I, I, really, I really like that. So then there are the Red Wings. These are really a step above, no pun intended. Actually, pun totally intended. I'm gonna be a dad soon, I'm allowed to make dad jokes before I was just making bad jokes. But anyway, these are simply the better boot, but they're also much more expensive. But as I know Red Wings, and I, I know Red Wings pretty well, I think that extra cash is really well worth it. The, the quality jump that that brings is something that I really, I really value. And so I just think that that's really, it's worth the extra cash. And they're also, surprisingly enough, the most refined out of the three in, in their shape, which I think just works very, very well with the kind of jeans that are gonna to wanna to wear with them. So, which one of these three pairs of boots am I gonna be keeping? None of them. I will, however, be getting a pair of these at some point. You see, because I am an idiot, I forgot that so, uh, I'm an idiot, but I'm also an idiot with a pretty standard 43 shoe size. I'm a 
43 in, in most, most boots and shoes. So these and these 43. Red Wings, I have to size down. So these are too big. Uh, also important to mention, these are going to be discontinued. So uh, if you want a pair, you better be quick. There's a pair of 43s at the, oh, there's going to be in a couple of days. It's a pair of 33s at the Berlin Mitte shoe store. So if you want these, then I say you can jump online, just buy them online, but not before Saturday when I return them. Although this is being released on Sunday, so they'll be returned by then. So yeah, go ahead and go. There's gonna be a link down below in the description to this exact pair of boots. Hello? Hi baby. Ah, okay. Uh, Cool, I'll be there in two seconds. Right, I'll be back in a second because we've got to do a quick test because we have got somebody coming over. Okay, just have to keep an eye on that. If a red line does appear on this, then um, yeah, that's why there's not been a video for a couple of weeks. Okay, where were we? Uh, the, the Red Wings. Right, um, I told you these were gonna be discontinued, right? Yeah, so be quick. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know, I just, I just, I think that these are gonna last longer. I mean, I've never ever worn through a pair of Red Wings. So I know they're gonna last the distance and I, I think they're gonna look better for longer as well. If I, if I can't find a pair of these in 42, then it's gonna be the Birkenstocks for sure. Um, I, I do like the look of these and I think they're gonna do a good job. Uh, right, the Blundstones, well, I, I guess they're a decent pair of boots. I, I really, I do think that, but they're just, they're just not for me. Simple as that. And yeah, that's, that's my two cents on, on rugged Chelsea boots. Uh, I'm going to go off now and start like searching for a pair of these in, in 42. So yeah, guys, that just leaves me to say, as always, I hope you're all happy and healthy out there. I hope I'm going to be happy that I'm healthy. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video.